Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this episode fire simulation in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a UV sphere. Go to the physics properties, select fluid and set the type to flow. Let's set the flow type to fire and smoke and the flow behavior to inflow. Press S and type in 0.4. Hit Shift A and add a cube. Select fluid again and set it to the main. Set the resolution divisions to 128. It's important that you don't enable adaptive domain because it will mess with the baked data that we are going to import later. Now here check dissolve and noise. Add a turbulence force field. Set the strength to 0.5. Select the domain again and go to field weights. Now let's set gravity to zero. Set the type to all and enable is resumable. Let's save and click on bake. Once it's done baking, go up here and hide the sphere in the viewport and in the render. Let's do the same for the domain. In the physics properties, hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Hit Shift A, go to volume and import OpenVDB. Paste the file location in here and press enter. Go to data, press A and enter. Let's also hide this in the viewport and in the render. Hit Shift A and add a cube. Go to the modifiers and select volume to mesh. Under object, select fluid data and here type in flame. Set the adaptivity to 1. Let's save again and go to a random frame. Now press Ctrl 1. I recommend that you set this subdivision surface anywhere between 1 and 3. I'm going to set it to 3. Here let's also enable smooth shading. Let's go to shading. Go to rendered view and make sure you're in circles. In the world properties go to color and select sky texture and set the sun elevation to 5. If you only want to create a single render then you don't have to change anything here. If you want to create the animation that you saw in the beginning then set the view transform to standard and the look to none. We're going to change this later. Now let's go to film. Enable transparent and transparent glass. I'm going to turn off the subdivision surface modifier so that I get a faster viewport. Now let's click on new. Delete the principal bsdf and add a mix shader. Plug that into the surface here and duplicate it and plug it into the volume. Add a glass bsdf and plug it into the top here. Let's set the color to an orange color. Add a transparent bsdf and put it down here. Plug it into the bottom and let's make this blue. Add a volume scatter node. Put that here and plug it into the top. Let's make this a light orange like this. Duplicate it and plug it into the bottom. I'm going to make this one purple. Add a color ramp. Plug the color into the roughness here, into the factor here and into the density here. And here add a mix RGB. Set it to color burn. Plug the color into the factor here. Add a mask wave texture. Plug that into the bottom and duplicate it. For this one, let's set the detail to 15. Do the same here and set the scale to 10 for this one. Plug the height into color 1 and add a Warner texture. Put that here. By the way, if you want to have these previews here, you can get the new preview add-on for the link in the description. Instead of the vector, let's use the randomness. Set the scale to 20 and flip the color ramp and bring the black into somewhere around here. Instead of the color, let's use the distance here. Let's save again and go to layout mode. Press delete on the numpad and I'm going to position my view around here and hit shift A. Add a camera, Control or 0 go into camera view and press G and set twice to move it like this. Add an empty, plane axis, enable snapping and set it to face project, press G and put it around here. In the object constraint properties, select shrink wrap and select the cube here. Now the position of the empty will change depending on the deformation of the cube. Select the camera, go to the object data properties, enable depth of field. Select the empty here, set the f-stop to 1 and the blades to 16. In the render properties, I'm going to set the mark samples to 768. Go to compositing, enable use nodes, enable denoising data and add a denoise node to the accurate. Now hit shift and add a glare node. Put that here, duplicate it. Set this one to fog glow, set it to high and set the size to 7. Plug the image into the image here, set this one to ghosts and set it to high. Set the color mode to 1, add a mix RGB, put it here and plug the image into the image. Set the factor to 0.25. In the output properties, select the resolution that you want. I'm going to create a new output folder. Go to file format and set it to JPEG and set the quality to 100%. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and under the render properties, go to color management. Set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Go to video editing. 
Hover over the file location and press Ctrl C. Set the file format to FFmpeg video, the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Make sure you are on frame 1 and hit Shift A. Image sequence, go to the folder where you have the images, press A and enter. Let's save again and press Ctrl F12. If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the render this on screen now. I'll see you next time.